Why you do that shit? Yo, this is Noah Cuz. I'm back on the Splitline channel. So today I'm going to be breaking down this super fire Don Tolliver type sample that I made. I used a lot of analog synths and a lot of cool effects in this to get that sort of sound. There's three different parts in this. There's an A section, a B section, and then I did this crazy Mike Dean synth switch up at the end. So make sure you watch all the way through. But yeah, this is what the sample sounds like. You get the point, the sample's super fire. So for all of the sounds in this melody, I use my brand new anti-phase analog lab bank. You can get it from the first link in the description. Everybody loved my anti-gravity and anti-matter banks, so I figured I'd drop a volume three of this series. This is definitely the craziest one yet. It has the most fire sounds that I've ever made for sure. Somewhere in the middle of this video, I'm gonna hide a coupon code where the first 10 people to use it can get $10 off the kit. So make sure you watch all the way through and don't miss that. But yeah, let's get into this breakdown. So the first sound that I used is this Deja Vu pad from my analog lab bank. This is what it sounds like. So this is a really simple chord progression. All I did is I took this E minor chord, I moved it over, brought it up one semitone, and then just moved the third up to the A. And I have that repeating the whole way through. On top, I just stacked the seventh and then this G. For the effects, I kept it really simple. It's just the band pass narrow. All of the presets in my new analog lab bank come with effects on them, so they sound fire right out of the box. So next I grabbed this radar pad from my analog lab bank. This is what it sounds like. and that repeats over for the next four bars. It's the same chords as before, I just put these two D notes as filler notes going into the next chord. This one is in the fifth octave, this one is in the fourth octave. For effects on this one, once again, I kept it simple just with a band pass narrow EQ. And then you can see I brought the stereo separation more mono on this one. All right, so for this third sound, I used this Mothership sub bass from my bank. This is what it sounds like. So for this one, I just have it following the root notes the whole way through. You can see right before the three, I did this run up the scale and then it goes into this E, but in a higher octave before dropping back down right into the regular note. At the end of the progression, I just have it dropping to this D just to give it some variation. And you can also see that I stopped these notes a little bit before the five just to give it some bounce. For effects, I added this big bottoms preset from our bass and then this really simple EQ. For this sound, I added this Rhodes preset from my analog lab bank. This is what it sounds like. So these are the same chords as before. I just played with the strumming and then the inversions. And I also did Alt R to randomize the velocities. These two chords are the same thing. I just inverted these notes up an octave in the last bar. For effects, I added this Valhalla Vintage Verb. I just brought up the decay sum and then brought down the mix. Next, I added this bandpass narrow and then into this default tremolator. The next sound I added is this Casimir bell from my bank. This is what the bell sounds like.
So I just kind of have it running down the scale. I just played by ear for this part. At the end, it sounded too repetitive going down the scale, so I decided to go up the scale instead. For effects, I added this Valhalla delay on this eighth note delay preset. And then I added this sketch cassette just to give it some texture. The next sound I added is this saucer pad from my bank. It's the same chords. This is what it sounds like. If you want to get my new anti-phase analog lab bank for $10 off, you can use the code anti-phase10 for $10 off at checkout. Keep in mind, this code is only available for the first 10 people that use it. So make sure you go use it quick, like right now. All right, for effects on the pad, I have this thermal preset into this portal preset, going into a band pass narrow EQ, and then this low high, low passing at around 6,000 Hertz. So the last sound I added is this retrieval synth bass, and this is what it sounds like. It's the same MIDI as the other bass, I just wanted to switch out the sound for a B section. And then I have this low high passing at around 8000 Hertz. The next sounds that I added are these textures. I added a perk loop and then a texture in the background. This is what they sound like together. Next, I wanted to get some one shots going to give it even more texture. So I added a bunch of these one shots in and I reversed some of them and pitched them to match the key. I'm going to play these together with the textures. That way you can hear what they all sound like together. They all complement each other and they're also driving the rhythm of the melody. So this is what they sound like. For effects on the texture, I added this bandpass narrow into the shaper box on this rhythm preset and I brought the mix down some. On the accents, I added this reverb into this EQ. So once I had all of those sounds done, I rendered them out into audio clips and you can see I did my chopping every two bars. So to do this, all I did is I used the cut tool to cut down there. I selected all of them. I held alt on Windows, option on Mac, and I just dragged this back. I'm not going to do it there, but you can see I did that here and here and there. And then if you zoom in even more, I made sure that I didn't do the same duration on all of them just to give it a more random feel like it's actually being chopped. I did that on the B section as well. Another change that I made on the B section is I cut out the synth bass in a couple parts that I didn't want it. I also took this Rhodes and did something cool with it. So basically I right clicked and I hit make unique. I chopped it up like this and then I took all of these sections and rearranged them like this. I also pitched that down an octave and then I cut out this last part of each section. That kind of gives this B section some more body and it just makes it sound more full. I added this Nami vinyl crackle throughout the entire sample. I pitched it down an octave, stretched it, and then brought the volume way down just to give it a little bit more texture. So to finish off the sample, I did like a Mike Dean synth section right here. I'm going to play it and then I'll break down what I did for it. So you can hear, that's super fire. Definitely gives you some Mike Dean vibes. So to get that sound, I went in my bank and I grabbed this Utopia preset. And for the chords, I changed this glide amount. So at first I laid out the root notes and this is what it sounds like.
Really simple, just following the roots the whole way through. And you can see I did a little bit of chopping right before the bar ends, just to give it that feel. The effects are the same on both of these. I added this Centaurus preset for a chorus, into this plate reverb, into this Echo Boy preset, and then I took some lows out on the channel EQ. The root notes are merged a little bit mono, and then the chords are more stereo. All right, so these are the chords right here. I'm gonna play it and then break down what I did. All right, so this is the same progression as the original right there. I just used my ear to add these higher notes and I added whatever I thought needed to be in the progression. So yeah, from there, you can see I did a couple chord inversions like right here. And then this E, I just kind of liked how it made the entire chord glide down at the end. So I added that. Like I said, the effects are the same on that one. But what really makes this whole thing sound special is this automation. So I'm gonna go through each one of these automation clips. So on the pad that comes in on the switch up, I wanted to affect what frequency this is affecting. So this is just doing some slight changes and then opening it up near the end where the synth comes in. The second one is for this entire effects bus. I added another low high and this was just to do a gradual low pass filter. You can see as these synths come in, I start adding a low pass to everything else in the melody just to kind of drown it out and make the synth the focus near the end. And then this is just muting that plugin before it actually plays. This one is automating the EQ on the root notes of the lead. So that way the bass isn't in there in the beginning and then it adds the bass in near the end. This is just automating the volume of the lead chords, just gradually going up over time. This is automating the volume of the lead root notes. This is automating the volume of the bass. This is that switch up pad. And then finally, this is the master just to make it completely quiet at the end so there's no bleed. So there's also an automation clip in this bass just to fade it out so that way it doesn't clash with the synth. So once I had all of those, I bounced it out into one audio clip and then I pitched it down one semitone. For master effects, I kept it really simple. I added this wow control on 3%, brought the analog noise gain all the way down, and then I put a little bit of saturation. Next, I added this EQ, just adding a lot of air, cutting some of the higher mids, boosting a little bit of lower mids, cutting lows, and then I changed some of the stereo imaging settings a little bit and then finally i added this limiter just to make it loud so yeah that's the whole sample i hope you guys learned something in this video make sure you go get my new anti-phase analog lab bank you can get it from the first link in the description make sure to use the code anti-phase 10 if you want ten dollars off the kit like i said earlier it's only available for the first 10 people that use it so make sure you go use it quick go follow me on instagram at noah cuz and subscribe to the split my channel make sure you drop a like and comment on this video what you want to see next if you can get this video to 500 likes i'll drop this sample as a free download in the description but yeah i'm out peace